Hello, 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 Sagittarius. It is time for your reading for November of this current year. It's my little crystal quartz. I've had this thing for years. Surprised it hasn't shattered, but I really don't use it for much of anything except for keeping my cards nice and clear. How are you guys doing? It's now officially Scorpio season. Hopefully you guys will be on your best behavior, of course. You, some of you are still feeling a little bit unhappy and stagnant, like stuff isn't going your way still. I think at one point I was talking to you guys about a booty call. If I remember correctly, that was like a while ago. Like months ago? Like, okay, well I don't want to say months ago, maybe like two months ago, but you know, I have the memory of a goldfish. Right? Right. Anyway, we're going to be doing yours. I'm still doing personal readings if you guys are interested. My email's in the description below so you can hit me up there and like just talk. I should just maul that thing down so like, you know, there isn't as much crap in there. That's what I should do. It's very long-winded and I need to learn to stop doing that. Oh. A few more of you to go, and then I'm done. And then I gotta get other stuff. Hope you guys are doing all right. I had done a Thunderdome for you guys, but like my computer has been so wonky that like uh, it literally corrupted the file I had for you guys because I actually recorded it up on this camcorder. And you're looking down on, on me with right now. Oh, I mean, you feel like isolated in the bad way. Oh, because of a heartbreak situation. Holy shit. Your heart got broken recently, my dear. And maybe even broke up a nice, happy little home. That sucks. I guess I was afraid you went through that. I think, like... I don't think it was last year, but it was at some point. I don't know. Uh, she was kind of like, uh... I felt bad for her, but it was like... I don't know. I guess she just saw me more as, like, company than, like, a friend. It really sucks because I genuinely liked her. Even if she did lie a lot. Because I really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> lie was involved with you guys? That makes sense. I was gonna say, Sagittarians, like, they're really cool people. But I mean, you gotta watch. You, you really gotta watch them to me. Because it seems like they're those type of people who, like, they'll lie to you, but that doesn't mean that they're untrustworthy. You know, there's a difference, like, there's a difference between t somebody you can't trust around your shit and a Sagittarius, because, like, usually they'll lie, but they only do so to, like, you know, like a little kid would. Either to get out of trouble for something, or just to make something sound more fun. They're, like, they're more like fibbers than they are liars, and, like, the one thing you should always do with the Sagittarius you want to keep them around is trust them because the moment they figure out that you kind of doubt them on some shit is when they start not liking you because it's just like oh if you're going to start doubting me like you're my parent mind you my brother is a Sagittarius so that's where I'm kind of getting that from and it helps to talk about the sign sometimes because you know gets me in the mood with y'all and the vibes I not really feel like Sagittarius just hates people just as much as a Capricorn does. That's just me. You can be first since you fell all by yourself, face down. Very polite. There you go. No whammies. Okay, let's begin, Sagittarius. Ooh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Someone being really dubious about their feelings. Emotionally stubborn. For all the wrong reasons. See, that boredom's coming up with you guys. Oh, someone's still needing to recover from that heartbreaking situation. Because still, stagnation with the beginning theme. So, like, if someone's really being dubious about their emotions, but the burden is lessening up. Or, wait, no. Someone is feeling a burden come off of them. Like, it's no longer bothering them. It's like... Desensitate... the. Excuse me while I hydrate. 
It's like someone's become desensitized to the burden that they've been carrying, I feel like. And now they're being really um, emotionally stubborn. Now they're being really like... They make you wonder if um, they're trustworthy with this King of Cups. Could be a water sign. Someone could be taking that water sign energy. They're being very, very emotional, but they're keeping it under wraps while trying to... I don't know, gauge everybody else's emotional rings and see what kind of control they can get. You know, like, somebody who is being emotionally manipulative and doing it very much on purpose, right? You know, I want to see how I can put you in your feelings in this situation, in that situation. Seeing what makes you triggered up and seeing how many times they can mix it up too, I feel like. We got this Knight of Wands who's running to the past to this King of Cups who's being dubious about the past, right? Like... This is past because it's facing the left. This is past because it's facing the left. This is past because it's facing the left. Then he's walking to the past. But he's looking at the future, which is someone recovering from this old situation. And nobody cares <laughs> in here, you know. And these are stagnations traveling to the past. So it's stagnant because of past events. So this is all like... Everyone's got issues in the past that they have yet to resolve. Like this fire sign, it's like running this way. They're running into action, but they're only going to past stuff. They're not like really traveling to um, do anything else in this situation except come against this person who's been dubious in the past. Charge for it, deliver a message. Like make action happen, like bonk somebody on the head for stuff that already happened, not stuff that's happening now. And this is all because someone was trying to be sneaky. Not thinking about these two swords back here, we're carrying all these other ones, which led them to this burden that they're now getting over, you know? Like, they traveled from here to get away, and now they're starting to get over this treachery. That led them to feel like this. You know? Like, everyone's going in the same fucking direction except for these two cards. These two cards, someone's afraid they're not happy. Someone's afraid that there's not satisfaction. There's no abundance. Everything's just the way... It needs to be in order to exist. Like complacency in itself. Because someone got their heart broken and they're still trying to recover from that, I feel like, with this card. Like the King of Cups was really dubious when it came to this Seven of Swords and sneak it away. Trying to get away from something, feeling like things were futile. But maybe possibly because of this broken heart. You're trying to get away too. Because they weren't happy with the Ten of Cups, and that was a fear. And then there's the Ten of Wands, where we're getting over shit. And like the Tens are both like upside down. They're both upside down. Like something didn't get like. This is like. Ah! Hold on. Okay. Tape's not bent. It's like Tens are about completion, right? But. I feel like whatever got completed didn't end the way people thought it would. Like, I feel like someone's disappointed that, like, this burden isn't a problem anymore. And that's why this Knight of Wands is running over to, like, start shit with this King of Cups. Like, you don't feel as hurt as I do. Let me go bonk you on the head since you don't, aren't acting the way I think you should. And then this card sprang up, you know, fighting five of wands, the actual heart of conflict where everyone's just fighting for show, fighting for the sake of fighting, fighting to show off their whatever, like, someone's riding in just to bonk someone on their head because they feel like they're not burdened enough anymore. <laughs> and that's not helping to heal this at all. This isn't satisfying anything at all, right? 
I like reading it better this way. I should do it like this more often because I'm getting way more information than doing them one at a time. But then I'm going to do it like this from now on. I can actually like sit here and get a whole picture instead of like jazzing through it all slow. Now someone's feeling really insecure about shit. That's not me. I'm perfectly secure. I'm happy with how this is going. Oh. You can be the first card since you fell out so politely. Thank you. No whammies. Okay, so let's lay out this spread. Ah, what the fuck did I just say? What did I just say? Mmm, I told you. And what did I tell you? Exactly what I told you would happen. What would happen? The exact way I told you it would happen. And when was that? Exactly when I told you. Mmm, look at that. I'm sorry for being that, like, boosh with myself, but, like, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Another ten. Another ten. All the tens are here. All completion. Like, if I had the freaking... If I had the Wheel of Fortune or, like, the world here, it'd be like... The cycle needs to be done. You know? Like... Only one of these tens is upright, you know? Like, that kind of makes me feel really sad. Like, all this completion and it doesn't, like, wow. Okay. Huh. That put me in my feelings a little bit. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. So, Sagittarius, it seems like some of you are having a really hard time letting go of how shit went down like look at like i i would usually say like okay so this is completion of a betrayal right but somebody just turned themselves onto the swords and yeah they would be like oh i'm fine let's start stabbing me in the back but now you're literally putting the the backstab into yourself even deeper to the point where it's going through you. To the point where it's making it harder for you to heal with this. Because you're pulling that whole Jesus martyr syndrome shit. Right? Like just staying stuck at a crossroads when you shouldn't be. Well, because you got your heart broken, right? Like you're well past the point where you should be making a decision. You, I, But it feels like you don't know which way you want to go. Right? Now over here, like, like I said earlier, fighting... Someone's mentally tortured over here, so they're riding over to bonk this dude on the head and start arguments, right? Just like I fucking said. I'm sorry, I'll stop being, like, cocky now. <laughs> but, like, yeah, like, because... Like, nothing was coming of somebody being burdened with this, with the Magician Reverse. Like, whatever they were trying to do, it wasn't helping, so, like, they had to let go of this burden. Because it made him dubious, but now it led to a bunch of fighting, too. That's what happened. Like, there was no manifestation by, like, keeping this burden on them. And keep reliving something that they did wrong, you know? Because it made them unhappy, and it led to fighting, like... To keep feeling bad for... I, like, I really feel like somebody did something bad... Because upside down, like, the magician does manipulate, but I don't think that the manipulations didn't work. I think it just came to backfire back later. Like, something happened to where they got caught up. You know, like, I don't know, maybe... I don't know. Like, I don't feel like they failed in getting rid of the burden as much as, like, whatever failure they produced, they're letting go of that. Whatever they tried to manifest, they're letting that go. Because it didn't work out for them, right? Because it all it did was lead to fights and having to hide your true nature, I feel like. Being emotionally stubborn, not moving anywhere, not going anywhere, not giving a shit, but just going into the actions. Like someone cut themselves numb or went at it too fucking hard and, and just got caught up with all the heat of the moment. Then over here where it's going against somebody, like someone's sneaky nature in the home. Someone was sneaking around in the house, the Ten of Pentacles, right? And that led to somebody, possibly fire sign, um, possibly you, a Aries, or a Leo, 
riding in to bonk this motherfucker in the head because you're, you're it, hurt, it hurt it was torturing you it was keeping you up at night you couldn't relax you couldn't endure anything like there was so much going on in your head and you and you felt like that was the only way you commun communicated. it like not with words but with going over and bonking him in the head and starting a fight right and if you're not bonking people in the head good but if you are bonking people in the head please stop that because like that's assault and i don't want you to go into jail just because you feel like you're fighting with somebody who's not going to help you out you know Like, don't go and bonk this person over in the head because you think it's going to fix anything, because it's not. All it's going to do is keep reminding you of all those hurt feelings you had. And that's going to make you more sad than what it is. Like, it's so much easier to be angry at another person than it is to be at ourselves. Not that I have to tell you guys that, because you should already know that, since you guys are like the philosopher or whatever. But, you know, like, I got Sagittarius Rising, and I'm a Capricorn. Like, you can be a philosopher, I'm the sage. Like, I'm the daddy of the Zodiac. The very grumpy, disappointed father about everything, you know? But, like, I just gotta say, man, like, just because, you know, everything doesn't mean that you think of it at this while you're doing it, you know? It usually takes, like, five, ten years to figure out that when you were 16, you were a fucking idiot. That kind of vibe, right? So, like, I, I'm just gonna say, like, chill out. And think before you do, and, and I, yeah, I know, I know, but think. I'm not telling you to think before you open your mouth, because that's just not going to happen. But I am going to tell you to think before, you know, you take action by what you can't verbalize. Because I think that's the main stem, right? Like, your your words are too harsh yeah like like they're coming off harsh but they're coming out with that mental shit that emotion right and there's like a lashing out physically and that's not good for you because then you're not really getting it out you're just emptying a gas tank and then later on you're going to fill back up and you're going to fill back up by like putting yourself back on the swords you know, because 9 and 10 are both up here. That's exactly what I think some of you are going through. Mind you, this is a general reading. So, if it doesn't apply to you, no worries. But, like, that's what's happening. Like, you like you get filled up on 10, and then you go bonk this dude to start a fight over shit. And then, like, after you do that, you end up going back to 9 and refilling back up to get back to 10 again. You know, like, replaying the same shit in your head. That's what it feels like. Like, It's like someone refilling their car of depression. <laughs> and using that as motivation to go after this person and, and like blame them. But it's like, how long are you going to... Like, how long can you go and keep booping this dude in the head before he boops you back? You know, like... People can only understand your anger for so long. Like, sure, you might be angry at it for a long time. But not everybody else would see it that way. You'd be surprised how long people think you should get over something. And look at this. Like, someone is not satisfied with the King of Pentacles. Someone who should be focused on providing. But instead he's focused on what he can... Like, he's focused on what he can attain, but I don't think it's a really good one because he's too busy duck face. You know? Like, too much duck face? Like, that's what I- that, that's all I see whenever the King of Pentacles is in reverse. Like, that prissy, metro, girly dude just being like, mwah, I should have surgery on my lips to make them better. Like, like, he wants to just- just be like all, mm, but he's got like really tiny lips where he's got a duck face all the time and you know it's a lie. You know, it's like chicks wearing a shit ton of makeup and looking like there's moss living on their eyeballs. Like it's kind of like that. It, it, I, I don't know, duck faces on guys just annoy me a lot. Like more than they could a female. Because a female at least looks natural. Dude is just like, uh, it just really gets to me because it's just like why are you doing that but that's just yeah okay so like look it right there it is like someone is not satisfied with this guy who is I feel like too busy 
Like, it could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but I feel like this isn't, like, one of the signs as much as it is just someone's vibe about things. Like, maybe they feel like they've been conned in something, and they're not satisfied with how they're feeling conned. Or maybe somebody feels like someone else is using them. Or they're being selfish in some matter because they are not satisfied. That could be something, too. And this is all because of the catalyst that someone's hanging on to um, a heart. Someone's hanging on to a heartbreaking situation. And they're not moving on from it. Like, they've been at this crossroads for a while. But that's where the stagnation's coming in. Because they keep using this to refuel their fucking bonk you on the head card and start a fight. Every time they go back into the Nine of Swords. It's like, it, it's like an endless cycle right here. Just going all around, you know? Like, here, 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 here. Like, it literally is a fucking circle. Like, look at it. Like, and you can follow it all over. Like, someone being stingy with their emotions and it's causing fighting. Someone riding over and bonking someone because they're not happy. Someone, like, not satisfied and being selfish. Now there's stagnation. Now someone isn't getting over some betrayal because, like, they don't want to move from where they're at in order to heal. Because they're too busy thinking about how this person was sneaky in their house. And it's unfair that they're trying to get over when they did this bad deed. Because they're still being like this stingy person and it's starting fights and now someone wants to run over. But it's like this endless fucking cycle. It's just a giant circle. Like. All because I feel like someone can't get over this. And how it messed this up. If it's messed up, because this is this is the only time that isn't in reverse. I can't tell if it's messed up or if someone just thinks that, like, this action was enough. Because, like, the 10 is still upright. This is the only 10 that is upright. I almost want to say that despite this sneaky behavior, someone isn't seeing that uh, the house is fine. Oh, here is a romantic connection, I feel like, which explains why someone keeps getting bonked on the head. <laughs> like like a really angry wife go, just running over and starting to fight because she's still mad about her husband doing this thing back six months ago on a Tuesday at 3.30 a.m. Right after she ate that tub of ice cream. You know, like, one of those vibes, right? Like, someone's really mad that, like, someone did something at that particular time and interrupted their in ice cream time. You know? Oh! Another one. Someone is being extra, extra guarded in all this. Someone isn't doing it for healthy reasons. Like, someone is afraid... Ooh, one more card. Like, is, is there any Sagittarius dealing with this situation? I have no idea. Like, my only advice is stop getting sad and bonking this person on the head because it's not helping things. All it is is causing arguments. Like, do you want to argue or do you want a relationship? <laughs> like, those are your options. Like, you can't have both. That's not fair to the person you, you're claiming to love. Like, if you love that person, you know. Give them something that's worth fighting for instead of a bonk on the head. That's what's more important. You want to be happy or sad? Okay. And... There are still some secrets under the surface. There's a lot more that's yet to come, I feel like. But I but I still feel like someone's keeping this under wraps a little bit underneath the, the priestess, the high priestess, because like they don't want someone to know that they feel this way. <clears throat> Ugh.
Like, someone's still looking for a love relationship, but, like, they're so guarded against it because they don't want anyone to know. Damn, dude, like... No, oh, Sagittarius. Just... Yeah. Do you want a relationship, or do you want to fight? Choose wisely. See you later, Sagittarius. Bye-bye.